Hello and welcome to St Dennis Daily Reflection. The Voice of the Lord. The psalm for today, Psalm 29, talks about the power of the voice of God. We are told God's voice is powerful and majestic. It breaks strong trees. It is in flashes of lightning. It is in the thunder. It shakes deserts and strips forests bare. God's powerful voice is evident in nature. The Bible tells us that God's voice can constantly be heard in different ways. In the Bible itself, in creation, in the words of his followers and in their acts of kindness and obedience. God's voice and words are incredibly important in Scripture. The Old Testament tells us that when God speaks there are consequences. His words always make a difference. Isaiah 55 verse 11 reads, So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. In the New Testament, John's Gospel refers to Jesus as simply the Word, who was there at the beginning of creation and came to earth as Jesus to save us. Jesus said, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. In the Revelation of John, Jesus says, Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. There is no doubt that God is speaking to us in creation. In the Bible, through the Holy Spirit and through other Christians. The amazing thing is that we can still ignore him, not listen and not hear. We can block him out. We can keep the door closed. We have to actively do something if we want to hear the voice of God. What can we do? How can we open the door? One, we can pray to God in Jesus' name throughout our day and about anything and everything. We can read our Bibles regularly. I recommend the Bible in One Year app to help us to do that. This is easily found online. It is also available in book form. Three, we can listen. We can have a time of silence waiting for God to speak to us after we pray or after we have read the Bible. Let us pray now. Dear Lord, we are sorry we sometimes ignore you and do not listen for your voice to speak to us. We ask you to fill us with the Holy Spirit and to give us a hunger for your word and presence in our lives. Help us to read the Bible regularly and to spend time listening to you and praying to you. In Jesus' name, Amen.